All right, kid, listen up. This fry is your universe. It's soggy, it's weird, it's gross. And this delicious normal fry is my universe. So you want to learn to be Spider-Man. Really what, what I want to know is when I, when I saw the trailer for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh -huh. I was like, I've never seen anything like this before. And I watched a lot of animated films, I watched a lot of superhero films, mm -hmm. and I didn't, this is mind blowing yeah. to me and the technology involved, but how did they pitch that to you guys? When, it, it, when they brought you into it, how did they describe what they saw the project being? I wasn't really pitched, if, uh, if I could be honest. Yeah. It was like, you know, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, okay, cool. For me, like, <laughs> I, I'm right. sitting totally. in my audition tapes, and I'm gonna hope for the best. That's <laughs> that makes sense. Cause I I think when you to me to me when you get that call, you're like, oh, Spider Man. They don't even really they don't get have a to pull. finish. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got an email from Phil Lord uh, years a couple years ago that said he was writing this and he was thinking about me for Peter Parker, but he would want me. I would obviously have to audition for it. And was this something I was interested in? And obviously, like you said, the answer is yes. But then once we got in, they started talking about the animation and how they saw it. Yeah. And it just makes you more excited. Right. Exactly yes. right. Where you're like, oh, cool, and it's going to look great? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always like working with a creative who has a clear vision, mm -hmm. yeah. as opposed to like, oh, we'll just put it together, and then we'll test it and see what we've got. Yeah. These guys knew what they wanted to make from the start, so it's been a real pleasure jumping in. So much depends on the answer to this next question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should make <we> go ahead? <laughs> <laughs> How did you record the voiceover for the movie? A bunch of times. And it was it together? Was it where you, did they do the thing where you're kind of in the same room so you can react to each other or was it completely separate? We've done separate and we've done together. Oh, good. Yeah. But together is the best. Together yeah. is the best. Yeah. Because you actually, I got to figure out, you know, I'm reading as, as Peter Parker, so I'm reading the material and I'm trying to do it as best as they want it. But I'm hearing about Miles and I'm doing scenes with Miles. Yeah. And I, I can tell like, all right, so Peter's annoyed, he's mad. But it's different when all of a sudden Shamit comes in and brings his energy yeah. and yeah. we're facing each other yeah. and I see like, and we're allowed, we do improvise a little bit and we add and we're allowed to try to like make each other laugh or get mad. So you start feeling like, oh, so that's Miles. So it's no longer on a script. Right now, I'm Peter, that's Miles, and we're in it right now. Yeah. Done. Yes. And then it gets, that's when it gets as an actor, at least for me, it gets really fun. Yes. I heard, this is random, but I heard Gary Busey say that he memorizes lines just by reading them emotionless, getting them in his head, but then mm. getting with the other actor to let the scene open up and let it be what it's going to become. This is the first time Gary Busey's been quoted for acting. Weird. <laughs> Man, I respect it. I like Busey's acting. It's a weird reference. It's a weird reference. But, it, but I get it. He's but, right. And that's the thing. Like that's it applies. That's exactly what I, I do. Me too. Yeah. That's Busey's like, right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Busey that's gets exactly it. That's exactly what I get. What Same I do. with me. Yeah. But I don't. I'll, I'll memorize it in my head. But then that first rehearsal, I always once you're like setting up lights. I always try to find the other actor, yeah. and we'll be like, hey, you want to run these a couple times? Because right. you're not going to really know it until you hear how the other person says it, right. and then you remember yours. Well, and this is a pretty different version of Spider-Man, because we've never seen Miles Morales before, and so you're the dude. Yeah. And so. <laughs> I see it in your eyes like, yes, I am ready for this responsibility. Yes, I am ready for this responsibility. Why is it time? Like, why, is, why now? Um, that's divine to you know that's some that's past me that's a deeper question you know but um i am i think it's it's time for the movie to come out and it's time for uh it's time for some positive role models um uh for the youth in general and i think uh that's why it's time i think that's why sony and marvel are like you know what let's go ahead and do this animation let's go ahead and bring light to miles morales let's help the world Let's think about it like that. I like that. <laughs> Fans are so pumped. Yeah. The minute you say Miles Morales, everybody's like, yes, they heard my prayers. Finally. Like, it's so cool. Yes. Well, and so kind of as a result of that, you're Peter Parker. You're Peter Parker. <laughs> but also you're like different Peter Parker. That's right. May I say, a little schlubby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. <laughs> and you're like a mentor. It's Peter Parker at 40. It's Peter Parker when he's been Spider-Man for a long time and he doesn't know if he still loves it. He doesn't know what it means to be Spider-Man. The allure of it all came and went. 
Mm. And then he's left with dealing what it actually means to be Spider-Man and what that means in terms of your life. And right. Your, what it really means to be Spider-Man. And then he's put in a situation where he meets somebody who needs help and to become Spider-Man. But Peter Parker's not a teacher. He's Spider-Man. Right. So it's being, it's something in him is getting pulled, but then he sees something special in this kid. And that's the beginning yeah. of the movie, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you ever find yourself like kind of taking that role on of mentor with other performers that haven't been through as many things as you have? Yes, whenever you're on set with somebody and you realize somebody's good, but they're a little bit new to the game, mm -hmm. you just do little tweaks because you also know if I help you relax in this moment with the camera on you, our scene's going to be better. Mm -hmm. And I have had people, the elder statesmen, who are still doing it to me. Yeah. So I'll be on set and somebody will say something and I'm like, I'm writing that down. Right. That really helps. Like even today, we both learned from Gary Busey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you know Busey was going to be our mentor to me? No, I didn't. I did not either, <laughs> but he is. And the best part is, you learn from him secondhand. That's right. So yeah. really, you learn from me. That's yeah. You're our teacher. Welcome. You're yes. our teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Mentor, mentor. That is the only time that will ever happen in my life, and it felt really good. So, yeah, that's right. has, can you come up with an like a specific instance of when someone has schooled you in, in a really loving way? Yeah, I can. Uh, John Hamm and I just did uh, the movie Tag together, and we were doing press. And one of the things of press was we were crashing a wedding, and so we were sitting outside of this uh, bar in Miami, and the wedding was happening, and. The people at the wedding were getting out of hand with alcohol. And I thought, this is a promotional move they could get out of hand. Because mm. you got Jeremy Renner, me, John Hamm, and Ed Helms crashing a wedding. <laughs> and I go, you got one weird uncle who takes us the wrong way. We are getting beaten up at this wedding. <laughs> and I was like asking, I, was like, I don't know if we do this. Maybe we don't do it. And John Hamm said, it's 90 seconds of your life. Can you do this for 90 seconds? And I go, yeah. And he goes, you could probably do just about anything for 90 seconds, so do it. And I took that advice. I did the 90 seconds. The event worked. The promotion worked. And I was really glad I just zipped my lips and did 90 seconds. Hmm. And as a result, I also am convinced that you and John Hamm are also rivals in real life, like you were in TAG. So no. I mean, you just nailed, you nailed it. That's acting. No, John and I are not rivals. I, yeah. No. He's such a weird rival. Usually in every interview, I have to have people remind me that it's just a movie. Yeah, that's oh, right. Right, right. But like, this is your fan base, that's so right. get ready. So he's my rival. Right. Um, is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse going to be opening up the Spider-Man universe in a different way. Is that something that you guys can speak to? Because I know that people are like, questions are a popping. there's a reference in the trailer. How many Spider-Men are there? Totally. Save it for Comic-Con, you say. Right. What's Comic-Con? <laughs> you gotta remember that line. You know why? Why? Because we know what Comic-Con is. Yeah, we do. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Nope. All right, well. You gotta watch the movie. <laughs> the mystery is alive. <laughs> Spider-Man right. into the Spider-Verse. And I sense that there's like a whole new thing on the horizon. Yeah. Like that this is, we're opening it up. We're like allowing new versions of this story to be told. I think it could very possibly be. It's true. very possible, but on um, this year's Christmas, you know, <laughs> we, we will this see one. this movie and your answers uh, your questions will be answered. I think if, if everybody sees it and likes it, it might help answer more questions. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so see it and like it, and that way they'll <laughs> and tell all your friends. All of them. <laughs> That's right.